next layer has to do with detoxification for the body, for the physical field, but also recognizing that our physical field is a reflection of the energetic field. And this layer that I'm seeing is the body actually holding the way it detoxes that is the way ancestors detoxed. And when I take a look at ancestors, there's this whole thing of detoxification can create a destabilization. It can create a sense of vulnerability and emptiness. And so our ancestors might have perceived that detoxing was actually could create weakness. And in the past, we needed to be strong in order to survive. And so the ancestors might actually have held energy and not allowed for detoxification. And then our body emulates and mirrors what our ancestors do. And so how would it feel to actually hold space for your body to release any ancestral ways of detoxing and bring in its own unique way of detoxing that is of earth or part galactic. We're starting to talk a little bit about how the body might be all earth or part galactic, part earth. And regardless of what your body is, your body gets to do it in its own unique way and bring in its own frequencies as opposed to detoxing, utilizing an ancestral grid that's actually not in alignment with your body. We invite you to take a deep breath in. Useful rider, pulling your energy and awareness into your line. As you hold your energy and awareness in your line, take a moment to invite your body to innate your spirit at the level of its higher self to work with its energetic fields and the guides to reference any ancestral grids of detoxification that it is holding that are discordant, that are limited, that are tight, that are restrictive, that are constrained, that are not in alignment with your body's way, your body's natural way. And you, soul writer, just holding space, witnessing, watching, imagining your body, using its higher self, its energetic fields. to reference any of the ancestral grids, vibrational fabric of detoxification, and then holding space for your body, body to the nature spirit, using your higher self, your energetic field, spin your fields in a counterclockwise direction, from the front of you, to the left of you, to the back of you, to the right of you, huge orb of energy that encircles you, that is your energetic field, spin it in a counterclockwise direction, releasing any ancestral ways of detoxing or not not detoxing, holding, for whatever reason, survival, strength, gently release any of these toxic detoxification grids off the body, body deva, off your fields. And it might even feel like a tangled nest and just keep spinning the fields, clearing it out of all of the energy centers Releasing, releasing, recognizing body to you have your own unique way of detoxing in the most gentle, graceful way with absolute discernment, but release the ways that are not your way. You so rider, keep encouraging your body to spin its field in that counterclockwise direction, releasing and cleaning, clearing out all the ancestral patterns, mock speed in a dimension where you can body. You don't have to feel it physically. Just do it at the level of your higher self in the appropriate dimensions. There we go. And then as your body releases all those ancestral grids of detoxification, body to the nature spirit at the level of your higher self, working with your energetic fields and the guides, reference a dimension where you can weave your very own unique vibrational fabric of how you release in a supported way, in a balanced way, in a consistent way, in a gentle way, with incredible discernment, and linking it in perhaps even with the seasons, bringing in appropriate vibrational frequencies from this world, other worlds, whatever's appropriate for you, bringing in appropriate tonal frequencies, energetic filters, timing, honoring your timing. When we detox in an unbalanced way, in a painful way, the body is not honoring its timing. And so body day, but you have your very own unique timing and play with the idea that you get to detox 
honoring your timing. And as your body weaves its own vibrational grid, so detoxing, keep holding a space for body to release any vibrational grids of detoxing that ancestors used to hold or do hold, friends, partners, healers, guides, teachers. It's not your way, body. You have your very own way. Let go of the way others detox. It's not your way. Weave your own way. And with energetic protocols, we want to slow it down. Sometimes in tall cups, daily cups, and even the coaching, I sometimes go really fast. And in my own personal inner work, I take it really slow. And so you might just be in the mantra for a minute, two minutes, three minutes, body, weave your own way of detoxing, of releasing in your own timing, body, be in your own way, your own timing of detoxing, releasing that's gentle. And you're just in that gentle mantra, witnessing body in some other dimension, weaving its own way. And then it doesn't feel pushed. And then it doesn't rebel. It doesn't go into constriction because it gets to be in its own way, moment to moment. And keep holding space for your body to weave its own grid, discerning when and what to let go of vibrationally physically, mentally, emotionally, in a way that is in alignment with its own timing. It's very gentle. Holding space for that to continue. And then when it feels complete, balancing and stabilizing your fields, updating your grids, all reference points, all ways in which you perceive. Taking a deep breath in.